Hey, it's Malin today. I'm doing my July wrap up and August TBR. I didn't read many books last month, but I'm doing a readathon, so I do have a lot of books to show you, even though most of them I have not read. The first two books that I read in the month of July were The Dream Thieves and Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater, the second and third books in the Raven Cycle series. The first book being The Raven Boys and I love all three of the Raven Cycle series books so far and I cannot wait for the fourth one but it's gonna be a long while. Oh the pain. The basic synopsis for the first one is this girl called Blue is 16 and since the age of six she has been told by psychics all over everywhere including her mum and her aunts and her cousins that when she kisses her true love he will die. So she's kind of been off boys since then but then one of her half aunts turns up and says that this is the year that she'll fall in love and she also sees her first spirit because even though her family are all psychics she can't see the future even though she does amplify other people's powers which isn't really a thing for anyone else but her so it's a YA paranormal fantasy series and I just love it so much. The first book is called The Raven Boys because as well as Blue's story you get the story of four raven boys who are the boys from the local private school and all of their lives are entwined in a very beautiful way and it's just a story about friendship and one of the raven boys has made it his life mission to find this sleeping dead Welsh king person because he saved his life, maybe, kind of, at one point. I really enjoyed The Dream Thieves and Blue Lily Lily Blue. I thought they were just as good, if not better, than the first book in the series. The third and last book that I read in the month of July is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is a retelling of the Iliad from Patroclus' perspective, and if you don't know what the Iliad is, it's by Homer and its Greek mythology basically about Achilles and you may have heard Achilles heel probably. Well he was destined to be the most powerful warrior of Greece and he had this right hand man who was his best friend and historians have argued whether they were together or not for many a year and in this version of the story Patroclus and Achilles were together romantically and it's very sad and tragic and heartbreaking and I don't know how to feel about it because I thought I was gonna really enjoy it and then I realised that historical times were very dark and horrible most of the time. It has parts from the Trojan War and it starts when they're six and then twelve and then onwards from there and it's kind of really sweet and also really heartbreaking and also really quite sad. Those were all of the books that I read last month. Now onto the books that I plan to read this month and I am taking part in the booktube thon. I will make a separate video going into the challenges and what I'm doing for each challenge but the booktube thon isn't like the only books I'm gonna read next month hopefully. So the first book that I plan on finishing in the month hopefully is The Lost Hero, the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan, the companion series to the Percy Jackson series. I just finished the Percy Jackson series and I wanted to move on with it because I do have the box set of all of these books and so far I'm liking it. I'm not even halfway in this and that's kind of sad but I'm gonna like read as much as I can before the booktubeathon starts. Now the books that I really want to read during the booktubeathon and the first one being Noggin by John Corey Whaley. This is a book about a boy who has his head removed when he dies and then five years later he is five years later his head is put on a different body and everything in his life has changed and it's kind of weird and it's from his perspective so it's like five years ago I died today I woke up some people were talking about this a while ago and I got it in London a while ago and it's the only book that I own that is not like 700 pages long that I can do for one of the challenges so I'll discuss more on that in my booktubeathon TBR 2015 thing. The next four books that I plan on reading during the booktube thorn were all in my July book haul because I bought loads of books and now I'm gonna read loads of books 
hopefully, maybe. I really hope so. But the third book I'm planning on reading this month is Unspeakable by Abby Rushton. This is a contemporary YA book about a girl who doesn't speak and hasn't spoken for a couple months and she has secrets and stuff that she's hiding and she's just not talking and and then she meets this girl called Jasmine who moves to her school and she's all bubbly and popular and really nice and then that girl makes her want to speak which is really cute and it's one of the shorter books that I own so I thought it was good for a readathon. The next book that I plan on read in the booktubeathon I kind of have high hopes for and that is To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is a book about a girl who writes loads of letters to all of the boys she's ever loved and then they accidentally get sent out. No, it's the end of the world, but not really because it's just contemporary and there's probably going to be an actual romance and I know it has a sequel and even if I wanted it, I probably couldn't get it because my mom's all like, we don't have enough money for you to buy a thousand books each month. I really like reading contemporaries in readathons because I think they're the easiest thing to do. The next book that I plan on reading this month is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Just ignore the cover. It's a hideous cover, but but we're not going to talk about it because I'm going to bring it up every time I show this book. This is about a girl who's an art student in Prague but she also takes care of a monster and she has these two lives and she has to pick one because I think the door to the other world that she goes to is closing so she has to decide whether she wants to be in that world or this world. It's also the first book in a trilogy and I really hope I like this. Next I have This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. This is a contemporary book about a girl who tries to be popular and then fails and then she starts DJing and comes to be herself and it seems really cool and it's really short so it's good for a readathon. The next book that I really want to read is actually one that I don't have and that is Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins, the sequel to Rebel Bell which is a book about a girl who's the most popular girl in school and then something happens and she gets powers and she's like I can fight and then more weird stuff starts happening and then she finds out that she has to protect this boy that she's known all her life and they kind of have a rivalry thing going on and I love that book so much and I recently read it and, and one of the challenges for the booktubeathon is to read your most recently acquired book and I don't actually have that yet because I ordered it from Book Depository and it has not come yet but it should come eventually so I can read it. The last book that I'm planning on reading during the booktubeathon is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. This is a sci-fi YA book about a girl who's frozen so that she can travel to a different planet and then be woken up, is woken up 50 years before she's supposed to be and then she finds out that there's another person on the ship and loads of people have read this and I'm really looking forward to it. Because the booktubeathon ends before even the middle of the month. I have other books that I want to read after I finished all of that reading but not too many because readathons normally make you never want to read again for like a day and then go okay maybe I'll read something. So I only have two more books that I want to read and the first of those being Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, the second book in the Grisha trilogy. I read the first one from the library ages ago and then I picked this up in the library and then was like I have to give this back and I can't really do anything about it and I can't be bothered and this is kind of taking a long time but I bought it so that I would read it and then and I'm 80 pages into this because of what I read when I borrowed it from the library. It's a YA fantasy set in this world where there are Grishas and there's dark forces and there's basically just magic and this girl Alina has the power of light and she can just create light from nothing and that's quite an individual thing to have and there's this guy who has darkness and he was kind of trying to use her and it was kind of bad. He's called the Darkling and he's super creepy but I really hope that this is gonna be good because loads of people love this series. The last book that I hope to read this month is The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily Danforth. This is a book that I've heard loads about by most people 
in their recommendation videos and I read a little bit of this but I didn't read a lot of it because I put it down because I don't remember why and the basic plot is this girl's parents die and she was kissing her best friend that day and then she's all sad for a bit because her parents died and, and then a new girl moves to town and I think there's a relationship probably and she's 12 but I know it's like through her high school career as well because I looked it up and it's set in the 80s in southern America. I was meant to read this last month and now obviously I have a lot of books to read during the book Tubathon and I have a book that I already started ages ago so I thought that I would just do this at the end of this month hopefully. That's all for this video and if you read any of the books that I have not read yet or I have read maybe you should talk to me about it because it seems a bit daunting when all of the books are together even though I know that technically I could probably read them and I'll be doing a booktube with TBR very shortly explaining more in detail about the whole challenge thing. Bye!